Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In the previous video, we talked briefly about the differences between extrinsic muscles of the hand and intrinsic muscles. Recall that extrinsic muscles were muscles whose bellies, or the bulk of the muscle that is, existed in the forearm. And they're able to still produce movements of the hand, and in some cases the fingers, but the muscles themselves don't lie in the hand, they lie in the forearm, so they're extrinsic to the hand. Intrinsic muscles, their muscles actually exist in the hand itself. And so the first group of muscles we looked at were the thener muscles. These are muscles that control movements of the thumb, and they're all innervated by the recurrent branch of the median nerve. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at what are called hypothenar muscles. And hypothenar muscles just exist on the other side of the hand. So rather than controlling the thumb, hypothenar muscles are actually going to control the pinky, or the fifth digit, or the small finger, depending on how you want to term it. So let's now switch gears and talk about the hypothenar muscles. There are three of these as well, and all three of them are innervated by the ulnar nerve, and they control movements of the pinky, which we're going to call from here on out the fifth digit, or digiti minimi. Digiti minimi is Latin for smallest digit, which in this case is the fifth digit. Okay? So when you see digiti minimi, that refers to the pinky. The first muscle we're going to look at is abductor digiti minimi. The name itself should tell you what the muscle does. Okay? Digiti minimi is the fifth digit, so it should abduct the fifth digit. And we see that muscle here in red. Its origin down here is one of the carpal bones. It's the pisiform muscle or pisiform muscle. And the fibers are going to extend toward the fifth digit, and they're going to insert on the, at the base of the proximal phalanx of the fifth digit. Okay. So what we're going to see here is abduction of the fifth digit, mainly abduction at the carpal metacarpal joint. Okay. Uh, because this muscle does not insert on the distal or, in, or middle phalanx, we're not going to see movements of the distal interphalangeal joint or the proximal interphalangeal joint. Okay. The movements are mainly going to be at the carpal metacarpal joint. And like all three of these hypothenar muscles, it's innervated by the ulnar nerve. The second muscle we're going to look at is flexor digiti minimi brevis. So this muscle is this green one right here. Flexor digiti minimi brevis is going to originate from the hamate, which is a carpal bone really just distal to the pisiform bone. It's going to insert just lateral to the insertion of the abductor digiti minimi at the base of the proximal phalanx of the fifth digit. So both of these muscles have the same insertion, it's just that flexor digiti minimi brevis doesn't, or doesn't insert quite as medially as abductor digiti minimi. So flexor digiti minimi brevis inserts a little bit laterally or closer to the thumb side. And so as a result, this is not going to abduct the fifth digit. It's actually going to flex the fifth digit. And that flexion is mainly going to be, again, at the carpal metacarpal joints. Okay? The third of these muscles is the opponent's digiti minimi. And just like in the case of the thener muscles where the opponent's was the deepest of them, the same thing here, the opponent's digiti minimi is the deepest of these. But really, in order to see this well, we actually have to remove both of these muscles. So in the next figure, uh, abductor digiti minimi and flexor digiti minimi brevis have both been cut and removed. And so underneath those would be opponent's digiti minimi. This is going to allow opposition of the fifth digit. Okay? This muscle is going to originate on the hamate, same origin as a flexor digiti minimi brevis, and then it's going to insert on the medial border of the fifth metacarpal. So here's the fifth metacarpal, or the metacarpal of the fifth digit. You can see here that it's actually inserting on the medial border. Remember that the pinky side is the medial side, and the thumb side over here is the lateral side when you're in anatomical position. So this insertion would be on the medial border of that fifth metacarpal. And so its action is going to be to oppose that fifth digit, okay? And its innervation would be also through the ulnar nerve. So those are your hypothenar muscles. Before we conclude this video, let's take a look at one more figure. Uh, this picture right here, this is actually looking at the palmar surface of the right hand. The one we just finished looking at is actually the palmar surface of the left hand, okay? 
So now we're flipping it. Now the thumb is on the right side of the image right here, and the left side has the fifth digit or the pinky. So this is where we're going to see the hypothenar muscles. And in this case, we're not going to be able to see opponents, digiti minimi, because we have these two muscles here, and they're superficial to it. So the muscle that's going to be the most medial, or most on the pinky side, is going to be this one, abductor digiti minimi. And then the muscle just lateral to that, or less medial, so closer to the thumb, is going to be flexor digiti minimi brevis. And in order to see opponents digiti minimi, we'd actually have to remove both of these muscles, and then we'd see opponents digiti minimi underneath that. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And so far what we've seen in the past two videos is we've seen two sets of intrinsic muscles of the hand. We've seen thener muscles, and remember that thener muscles are going to control movements of the thumb, and they're innervated by the recurrent branch of the median nerve. The hypothenar muscles produce movements of the fifth digit, or the pinky, or the digiti minimi, and they're innervated by the ulnar nerve. So now, in the next video, we're going to switch gears and talk about some other muscles that are also intrinsic muscles of the hand, so hopefully you'll join me then. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.